Okay, so there are four things that make up a custom study. It's the physical file, the actual DLL file, which, let's take a look at one of them. If I go into Sierra chart, um, no, we want my demo installation. And we're going to look under here, and here's one of them. It's just a file called demo.dll, and that is one part. The other is the Sierra chart DLL name. Third, we have the study function. And fourth is the study name. And we're going to take a quick look at each one of those in turn. So let's start with the physical DLL, the file itself. Um, to each of these, there's a part that I'm going to show that's within the code or the development environment. In this case, it's Visual Studio. And there's the other part, which I'm going to show is where you can see this in uh, Sierra chart in the actual application. So let's start with the physical DLL. The physical DLL is the outcome of compiling or building the, the project. Okay. And in Visual Studio, the outcome is defined here. If you go under the project to the properties, under general, you'll find that there are three things that are defined here. One is the output directory. Where does it get written? When you compile the source, it gets written to a certain directory, which is going to be this one here. And I pointed it to our data directory for my Sierra chart installation. The second one is the name of the file. What's the name going to be? In this case, it's derived from the project name. So whatever your project name is going to be, it's going to be um, put in here to that name of the file. And the extension is DLL. Okay, and we can change these, the location, or I can change the name to a different name. Um, but that's the way I have it configured here. And that is the part within Visual Studio which defines where and what the name is going to be. The outcome is going to come into here, in our case, which is the data directory. And the physical file needs to reside in the data directory. That's the only place you can have it, is in that directory. As a reminder, in order to find that data directory, we're going to go into General Settings. And under here, you'll know where your data directory is. It might be different from different installs or different installations of um, Sierra Chart, whether you received it from Sierra themselves or from one of their brokers or um, partners. So that's for talking about the physical um, DLL. Um, another place that we see reminders of the DLL is if I go into here, add custom study, and I look at the DLL, I can see that this is the name of the physical, but here we have the actual path to where that DLL, and we'll see that in a second again when I talk about the, the Sierra chart DLL name. Okay, so the second that brings us to the second part, which is this one, the Sierra Chart DLL name. And that, as we saw a min moment ago, is defined, comes out here. It's this thing. Okay? Which is not it's not is not necessarily the physical name, it's a logical name. It appears within the application. And here we have demo.dll, we have user contributed studies is another one, and so on. So this is where you see in the application. In the source code, that will be here. Okay, Whatever you have written here is the actual name of your study package or your higher level um, name for this thing. So in CR chart, it's called the DLL name. And all of the studies that you have within this file are going to be part of this DLL, Okay, under what's called demo.dll and will reside under here. So this will be the list of the studies within that file. Now I can go and um, change this. Let's change it from like demo DLL to demo DLL1. Okay, and then I'll come up to build and I will rebuild this thing, build solution. And it cannot open it for writing. So we need to shut down Sierra chart, exit, save all. We don't want to save all. And I'm going to change this free DLL to one. I'll be talking about this free DLL in a future video, but just for now, we're going to do that. OK, and now I see that we build all succeeded, and we have a new build. Um, I'll fire up Sierra Chart again by going into here, selecting Sierra Chart. OK, 
Okay, I'll bring up the ES like we had before. Go into custom studies, add custom study, and you see we change it to demo DLL1, although here the name stayed the same, okay, the physical part, while the logical part changed. Okay. Moving on to the next um, item, which was, let's see what it was, the study functions. Okay, so the study functions are these guys. Okay, this is a study function. All our study functions have this signature. It has an SCSF export in the beginning, and then it has this name. It receives these parameters. Okay, it has a study graph ref, Sierra chart, and the name has to start with this, right, with the SCSF. I think it also has to start with that underscore. Now, all the files, all your studies are going to start with this function name and they're going to look pretty much like this. If I wanted to create another one, I would just basically copy this. Okay, and we're going to paste it down here. And if this was demo study 1 and template function 1, I'm going to call this template function 2. Oh, sorry. It's 2. And I'll change the name here so we can see it. It's going to be number two. And now we can build it again. Now just notice that they all have the same structure here, the same signature. And they have to be unique name. So I have like template function one and template, template function and template function two down here. And now I can rebuild this thing. Okay, now I succeeded. So I'm going to go back to Sierra chart. I'll cancel this. Go back to analysis open this up and now we have demo study 2 as well okay so we have demo study 1 and demo study 2 now in order to see this even more closely if i add this to the chart okay and i go into the settings here you will see here that i have the dll name and the function which um, holds this study so here we have template function whereas if i added demo study 2 and went into the settings, I'll see here that I have template function 2 right there. Okay? Important things to remember about this is that every time you want to create a new study to be within this DLL or another one, you just copy an existing one and make sure you rename this to a new name and that's you're ready to go. Okay, so the fourth part that makes up a study is the study name. I know we've seen it before, but we'll go over it again. The The study name is what we see in the unit UI here. Okay, so this is the study name. We have three within this DLL right now. Obviously, we saw before that this is the name right there. Okay, and I can change this name to anything I want, and it will be in the UI. And that is about it. So we went over four different parts. I'll just recap them really quickly. There's the physical part, which is the actual DLL, and that needs to be in the data directory. Then we have the Sierra chart DLL name, which is defined up here. There's one per file, and it is at the top of the hierarchy of all your studies here. Okay, And we have the study function which is this okay there's one per study and it needs to be unique and it needs to have this format and then last we have just the study name which is here and we set it by setting the sc.subgraph attribute and that's it hope you had something to learn from this and we'll be seeing you soon bye bye